Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. So, as you guys read in the title, you can actually get the Poltergeist skin in less than 30 minutes. Actually, probably close to, like, 45 minutes. But, yes, less than 30 minutes. However, there's going to be a little few tips and tricks I'm going to give you guys so you can guys can get it as fast as you can so you can play with it as fast as you can. So, first things first, you can group a few of them in one game. The ones I'm going to talk about, the Travel 300 Meter in... In Battle Royale with any vehicle, you can survive 20 minutes, you can do four skills, you can do slide 20, uh, not 20, sorry, 40 meters, and you can kill 15 enemies all in one game. That's literally what I did. You guys will see footage in the background of me actually doing that. Pretty cool. Now, here's the catch. It's actually really easy. You want to land somewhere in the beginning that has a chopper. So I landed in Countdown. You go to Countdown, you kill everybody you can, and then bang, you get your chopper. And once you get your chopper, you fly on out. All right, fly wherever you want, all right? As soon as you get that, maybe fly into the zone. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and try to find as much kills as you can. Now, also, in between those, you want to slide as much as you can. Honestly, if you're fighting, you should be sliding. You just slide, you slide, you slide, you slide, you slide. 40 meters is nothing. You'll get that in super easy. You can also use your skills. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't confirm this, but if you can use your skill in the pre-lobby, that might actually help. So you might as well use your skills in pre-lobby. And if there's a class you want to use, I recommend Ninja, so you can actually use the skills super fast. However... You still need to get the 15 kills, so I recommend actually getting the kills, so use whatever class you're comfortable with. I use Scout, so I can actually find out where people are. Manage to get 15 kills in one game. However, if you can't get it in one game, you don't actually have to play the whole game. You just need to actually get a few kills. So I'll give you guys another recommendation for those who are not as good as killing as I am. But for that, it's pretty simple. And then use a class skill four times. You'll be able to do that throughout the game. Kill 15 enemy. That's pretty simple. And then uh, the tip and trick part, or the tricky part here, is that you have to pick either if you want to do the top 15 twice or you want to do the 5 BR. If you manage to finish everything within two games, you should pick the 5 BR. The top 15 one is going to take you about an extra 15 minutes because you still have to manage to get the top 15 and then die. But if you're good at the game, you should be able to get the 15 kills in the first one. If you don't, you get like 12, 13 kills. You can actually do a second game, get those kills. Finish maybe the survival one if you don't finish the survival one. And then bang, all you need to do is kill yourself super fast with the three BR games. The next remaining BR games. What I did, there's actually two options. I actually figured this out with the return of the, um, the platform. You can either go straight to the platform and then die because people will be there. And they're going to kill you super fast. If they don't, they just jump in the chopper and actually let the chopper kill you by just switching seats. Just easy as that. If not, just go to the wolf or the dog. I think it's the dog. And he will kill you very, very fast, depending really what's the closest. Honestly, if you had the option between both, the platform is the fastest because it's a little higher to the ground, so you can land on it faster. But the little dog will kill you super fast. Bang, get those five games. That's literally what I did. If you're not as good as killing, then you don't have to get the 15 kills. All you have to do is just camp the whole game to fly in the chopper if you like, just chill in there, then get to top 15 and then just kill yourself. And bang, you're good to go. You play your five games and stuff like that. Very simple, very quick video. And uh, actually, we'll just do a quick gameplay of the Poltergeist. Well, we already have it right now, so we might as well jump into a solo game just to show you guys how it looks. But uh, it shouldn't be, uh, I don't know if I needed to equip it or anything. If I did, it would be kind of awkward, but still, like I mentioned, we'll check out the Poltergeist. Maybe we'll just do it in the pregame lobby. Because, oh, I, I forgot to mention, the five thing, uh, you will you will lose points. But with the point bonus going on right now, you won't lose too much. So that's pretty good. You should have basically gained more than you lost. So we will have the Poltergeist class. So first ability, becomes near invisible for a short time. Second ability, void bar, increased running or walking speed when stealth state. That's actually pretty neat. So it does seem to, it's actually really fast to, wow. It's actually really fast. Really, really fast. All right, let's see how long it, it actually goes. So we have a timer real quick. So it's gonna, I'm gonna kick it at 55. Bang, 55. You're invisible for about, I'm gonna say five. Oh, wow. That's actually a long time. Maybe 10 seconds. Nope, 15 seconds. What if I hit? Okay, until you hit. So it looks like you're invisible for like 15 seconds. And then you, if you hit or shoot, it'll go away. So that's actually pretty nifty. I'm not going to use it right now. I'm going to play on it on stream probably tomorrow. But we'll just do this countdown again. So it was at 18. It was at 28. So I'm probably at 13 or so. And it should probably disappear towards the 13 mark. Yeah, so that's actually not bad. I'm going to quit the game. 
I don't really want to play right now. It's fine if I lose points. But yeah, actually, it seems to be pretty nice. I'm probably going to be rocking it since I got it. I might do a few games later tonight. But uh, mostly going to be grinding the shotgun uh, legendary. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if this helped you guys unlock it super fast. Yes, it is pretty fast in general. But being able to unlock it in 30 minutes so you can play with it as soon as possible. Pretty good. If you guys want to see my latest video, right side of the screen. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe button. I will be making... Actually, I make videos daily. I don't know why I say it. All right, I'm out. See you next time. Kill it.